Ever since it replaced the Boxster's glorious, normally aspirated flat six with an unloved turbocharged flat four, we've been waiting for Porsche to make amends. And this is the car that does that, the 718 Boxster GTS 4.0. Before we get stuck in, have you subscribed to the Car Guru's YouTube channel yet? Go on, tap that subscribe button. It was in 2016 that Porsche angered sports car enthusiasts around the world with that tuneless four-cylinder engine. In lesser boxsters, it lives on, but in this new GTS, it's long gone. This model uses the same high revving 4 litre flat six with importantly not a turbocharger to be seen as the 718 Cayman GT4 and the 718 Boxster Spider. Here it's slightly detuned but it still develops 395 brake horsepower and 310 pounds foot of torque. Porsche quotes a 0 to 62 time of four and a half seconds and a top speed of 182 miles per hour. But if ever there was a Porsche that was not about straight line speed whatsoever, this is it. The whole point of a sports car with a convertible roof, a manual gearbox and a normally aspirated engine is that it should be fun to drive at all speeds. This is the kind of car that you should love driving even when you're just going around the block. After all, convertible cars have always been about the driving experience as a whole, not just speed or handling precision. Prefer a fixed roof sports car? The mechanically identical 718 Cayman GTS 4.0 is the one for you. The Boxster's hood falls away at the touch of a button, leaving the car looking its best. The Boxster interior is very familiar now. This basic architecture is almost a decade old, but the basics are still right. The fit and finish, the material quality, build quality, all exceptional. The seating position is spot on. Everything's precisely where you want it. There's plenty of storage bits and pieces all over the place. No wonder Porsche hasn't felt the need to completely overhaul this interior. However, the touchscreen based infotainment is right up to date. The Porsche communications management system features Apple CarPlay as standard and it's very easy to use. The GTS is no stripped out road racer, so it still has climate control, navigation, heated seats and so on. The Boxster has always been deceptively usable because it's got two really useful storage compartments, one in the front and one in the back. Although in that sense, the Coupe Cayman is actually slightly better. But if you put all of that stuff together, the storage space, the interior quality, the very good standard kit count, you have a surprisingly usable car that you really could live with day to day. This car's surprising usability becomes even more stark when you start driving it because it's actually just so easy to drive and so comfortable and civilized in normal driving through town or on the motorway or along a bumpy B road like this one. The ride quality is settled, it's composed. Of course, there's a degree of tension to it because this is a sports car, but it's never ever crashy or tough or unyielding. Meanwhile, the steering's not too heavy. There's a bit of weight in the gear shift and the clutch pedal, but it's also well matched to the other controls that it feels natural and right. With the roof up, the cabin is well insulated. You don't quite forget that you're driving a convertible car, but almost. Meanwhile, with the roof down, well, I've got the windows up and the cabin does get quite blustery, as you can tell from this bad hair day I'm having. The Boxster has always been one of the best driver's cars on the road. Now the GTS takes it to even greater heights. This GTS 4.0, it's less demanding than the Boxster Spider, and it's more engaging, more exciting than the lower spec cars, the four cylinder cars. Honestly, this is the Boxster sweet spot right now. It's so good to drive. The steering is pin sharp and really intuitive. You don't ever take a second stab at a corner. The car has so much balance, it's unbelievable. It feels gorgeous in a corner. Body control is so good. The chassis feels with a bumpy road beautifully. It's just so technically brilliant, but also so much fun to drive as well. There's a mechanical locking differential in the rear axle, that comes as standard. And so the car always has really strong traction. These Boxsters, they've always been brilliant to drive, but this one, honestly, it's off the dial good. It doesn't seem possible, but the car's powertrain is even more impressive than its chassis. This is why we all kicked up such a fuss when that unlovely four-cylinder turbo engine was introduced. The way this thing revs out 
the way it sounds, that howling soundtrack. The way it responds to a throttle input, all of that stuff, it just makes the driving experience. This is such a wonderful engine. It's really strong as well. The performance is surprisingly forceful, actually. I love the way the soundtrack hardens as you get through five, 6,000 RPM. It's wonderful. And then you've got one of the best manual gear shifts in the business. Wow. Wrap all of that up together and you've got an exceptionally good drop-top sports car. The 718 Boxster GTS 4.0 isn't even hideously expensive. It starts at a very reasonable £66,340. For a car with this much performance, that engine and as much talent as this one, that's actually really good value. I know it's not cheap, but you're getting so much car for your money. If you love driving, this genuinely is one of the best cars Porsche builds right now. Thank you for watching this Car Gurus video. Please subscribe to our channel and remember as well to head to cargurus.co.uk where you'll find a great deal on your next used car from a top rated dealer.